happy hello and wow here we go again um guys thank you for the comments y'all have left so far on the finish of the falcon really appreciate it thank you a lot and now getting to the next parts um so for this video i'm going to do what i normally do the unboxing of the kits that I, the kit that i'm going to build but as you just kind of got this the thing was i'm going to do some I'm going to do two kits this time for this video series. Um, I'm going to build the Mobius Frankenstein and the Rebel Skill Level 4 um, Saturn V rocket, which I have some pretty good ideas for both. But I'm not going to take away, the, take away from that before, so you guys can see that in the video, and I'll kind of explain what I'm planning on doing with them. But for the next few months, I'm actually not going to be doing a Starships spaceships or anything i'm going to be doing um some real cool kits like i said the mobius frankenstein the saturn 5 and uh, to me f14 the one f14 d and the 148 scale um i'm looking forward to doing you know all these kits but especially with the frankenstein and the saturn 5 i'm going to be doing some scratch building to help enhance them both so there's that um so no more no more lighting until later in the in the year but so with that guys if you're new to my channel click the subscribe button hit the little bell and you'll know every time i upload a video for those of you wonderful wonderful friends that have stuck around with me these last couple of years especially these last six months with the injury thank you thank you thank you i love your feedback i your, your everything y'all y'all tell me whether how to fix something or holy crap but you did that love it so thank you thank you thank you so with that Let's go see what's on the bench. Okay, here's the first one. This is the Mobius Frankenstein. I know you guys have seen the, the shots and the buildup on the, the Millennium Falcon and some of my other posts on the social media. But this one's going to be fun. This is going to be my actual first actual figure build. Now, I know it's not resin. It's molded in plastic. But I get to actually play with the painting techniques to do... Two, one, make it look real, make it look authentic, make it look awesome. Yes. So I'm looking looking forward to doing that. Sorry, I'm hitting my keyboard because I'm trying to log in. Uh, i got to get a new computer, new laptop. This one is on its last mile. <laughs> or last, last comp. So, all right, so here we go. And this is a really simple basic kit to build it, where everything comes in is just in the getting it painted so here's the instructions let me see if i can zoom in a little bit better there for you guys so here we go so mobius did really great it's just a pull out um gives you how to do the door get that set up how to do the hands the boots and then put the whole body together and then put this whole thing together like this um awesome great but you know me, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it better. So, what I mean by that is, so we have the floor, and I really do like it. Um, I'm gonna leave it pretty much the way it is. I'm not gonna try to do anything other than get a good paint job on it, um, get these um, nail brackets painted, and get it discolored, make it look weird. What I am gonna do though is, here's the door. And this is where this where it's going to start is first I got to take care of the seams, okay, and then um, on the back side is I'm going to scratch build where this where this handle is. I'm going to actually scratch build the latch, have that ready and done, get that all good before I even I'll get it pre built and get it all done. But then before I even paint it, I'm going to get that scratch built, okay. Then the next bit of work that's got to be done is um, getting these pieces here sorry so basically it's going to go let's see if I can get it like this it's going to go like so and like so let me get this zoomed out so you guys can see it better let me get it tilted up so as you can see and yes there is beer um, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some pieces to this and um, or I might just add some epoxy sculpt and finish 
getting the, the, the stonework into the door. But one of the things I'm going to do on this is I'm going to actually add the door jam up here. I'm going to scratch build that so the door actually has a place to sit. And like I said, I know I've already talked about the door on the hinge, um, or on the, the latch, but also I'm going to scratch build in the woodwork um, that comes because they're, they're, they're bolted together. I'm going to do that on top, bottom, side, and bottom. But I'm also going to add, um, getting some friends helping me get this, but I'm going to scratch build the hinges. So when I put this on, you actually got the hinges going to the brick wall like it should be. So there's that. And then uh, here is the Frankenstein. Or, you know. Let me zoom in again so you guys can see a better picture. There we go. So it's really good work. There's a lot of good shadow points and folding points so to get the paint on in this coat, in his pants, in his jacket here, in the front of his jacket here. There's a lot of good things to work with. Um, his undershirt and then his black jacket and all that. And then... Um, his head, uh, let me get this out of the way, sorry. His head, which is going to be really fun. Let me get that up there so you guys can really see it. So really good sculpting and, and molding work there. And then his boots, his pieces of his hand, parts of the door. Um, let me get, get a hand up here. So it's really good because you can get the, the veins. I know he's kind of got a color, but... I'm going to do some work on that. Um, you know, you guys know me. I kind of like to make things... Well, he may still be kind of greenish looking. I want to try to get the, the veins and, and the shadows and the eyes and everything to pop. So, there is the first one, guys. And, yeah. So, this is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of extra scratch building. Because I learned from my friends, like, um, Lou, Aztec Dummy. Sorry about that. Um... Just because you get a kit, the way we are, we like to add more to it, make it more realistic, make it better. So, give me a second, guys, and I'll go get the next kit I'm going to work on. All right, guys, I'm back. So, here's the next one I'm going to do, and as you guys know, this beautiful rocket. This is the Rubble um, Scaled 1144th Apollo 11 Saturn V rocket. Um... It's the 50th anniversary for the moon landing, and it's a skill level 4, so it's going to be fun to do. Let me get Frank put to bed here, and get this laid down, or go down the way. And, so here's the instructions for Rebel. It's, they're pretty good. Um, as you guys know, we all, if you belt Rebel kits, um, you, you really got to watch, because the, the seam line work and all that's got to be, it's kind of crazy. But that'll be easy enough to do. But here's the instruction. So it gives you the normals. Here's the, the patterns and it starts. And the first thing you're doing is doing the engine nozzle bells and getting these pieces of the big rocket glued and then go from there. Um, it's going to be really fun. I'm not going to use this base. I mean, it's a cool base, but I'm not going to do this. I'm going to actually do... What I'm planning on doing is I'm scratch building a, a base that what I want to do with the ship is I'm going to have it laid out in, in its sections, first stage, second stage, third stage. Then I'm going to have um, where the command module is separated and have the lunar lander so you can see all that. And I'm going to have that all down. Now, I know I'm saying maybe not lighting, but the way I'm going to design this is I might put spotlights shining on the kit itself to help with give it that nice effect. But the bottom is going to be, part of it's going to be a complete mirror. I'm going to, I'm going to build that base, and then I'm, around the mirror I'm going to do the yard, the, the, the grass scape and sidewalks and stuff. But I want that, that mirror bottom to reflect the underneath too, so it looks pretty cool. But really good. Um, pretty easy, simple build to do. Um, again, this is going to just be a lot of paint work. Um, and then definitely this, because this gives you... 
It, it doesn't like to tell you exactly which parts are black, which are, but I'll be able to figure it out from this. So um, if you guys got any good techniques or measurements on how to, to do the painting, um, I'm trying to go off the best I can and I will make it look good. But if you guys have any good tips or tricks, let me know. Okay, now on to the Rebel Junk Box. Because it's like every time I, this thing gets open, something. So here's a stage. And I've gotten these all pretty well clean. I think this is a second stage. But I haven't, like I said, I'm not going to use this base to display the model. Um, I'm going to hold it. I'm going to keep this. Um, there's there's something I can do with that. That's really cool. So there's that. Get you out of the way. Now, another part. You got these little pieces. They fit onto the ship. And then... The, 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 the grid lines, the line work is going to be awesome when I do this. It's very well, very well done. Then they got the one part that's molded in silver, which has to be painted, is this. So you got the baffles inside the, the separate tanks. You got the engine nozzles. You got the, the bells, all that. This part right here, let me get that up. This part, while it's cool, is all a, a green paint. Um... I'm not sure what that is right yet. And then the nozzles. Now, anytime I've ever seen this ship, they're black, but I'm going to do what the thing says. And while they may look black, they're going to be that nice um, metallic, clear, more silver than not. And then the inside of them. But there's going to be a lot of seam work that needs to be puttied and taken care of. But So the next part, this is pretty much the command module. And the lunar lander with the tower on top being taken off but yeah so this is going to be really fun and getting to paint this the the command module is going to be fun and then the only one grip i do have is the um the the um, pitch nozzles attitude and pitch adjustment i wish these would have been separate instead of molded into the kit but I can, I can, that's okay, I can deal with that, so. And then, getting on to, yeah, pieces just keep, and then the command, mo this is the module that holds the lunar lander in, and then the, the hooks to have the doors open and close. And then, to the bottom, this is the, the first stage, so, it's going to be really fun, and the easy part is actually getting it built. Um, getting it all pre-built and done. The hard part is just getting it set so I can do the painting just just right. So, um, sorry guys. Um, but yeah, there it is. So, heck, in a couple of days I can have the entire model built. Then it's going to take me a couple of weeks to get all the paints done on each each one I want to do. And then, like I said, the Frankenstein is going to take a little more with the, with the scratch building I'm going to do. But hey, there we go, guys. Um, it is getting there. And so, I'm going to let you guys go. You have a wonderful weekend. And have a great week. And we'll see you next week on the bench.